property. But at the same time, they could have lost life. Exactly. Right? So, 17 you know, people have been killed so far by yeah. these mudslides. Yeah, so at least you have to That may be the first time, too, that I've ever actually seen video of yeah. the slide actually happening. Yeah. So often you see just the aftermath. It's that is blowing. just, yeah, it really is. Oh, wow. Well, I'm so glad that everybody's okay. But let's take a look at the storm system that's going to be affecting our area in the days ahead. It's still taking shape. It is a, primarily going to be a rain producer and a very drenching rain producer at that. But you see the snow and the ice on the backside of this. The cold will come rushing in in the wake of this. So parts of the Poconos could finish the storm with a little bit of icing. But the key here, at least for Philly, is drenching rain and the possibility, especially for the smaller streams and creeks, of flash flooding. So we'll take you all the way to 6 p.m. By this point, things are still quiet. It's really not until later on tonight that we start to see the rain building in. But look, and this is a forecast model, granted, but look at the expectation. There will be places where you easily pick up over an inch, heck, over two inches, maybe up to three in some instances here. So especially if this pans out and you end up with over two and a half inches down near the shore points, that's where you had the most snow from that last storm. So there could easily be some flash flooding that goes on because of it. There's a general idea though. You're talking about temperatures in the 50s and 60s tomorrow. So the snow will continue to melt. I say get rid of the most we can here today so it doesn't uh, you know, make the, the problem even worse tomorrow. But your flash flood risk is most prone in the smaller streams, the smaller creeks, the ones that tend to come out of their banks, like the Christiana, for example, uh, or the Christina River, rather, down in Delaware. That one always seems to come up for some reason, but there are a lot of other ones. So keep that in mind. But we take a look forward here. You're in the mid 60s by tomorrow. Very, very warm day, but the rain comes along with it. Keep your umbrella at the ready. Temperatures really plummet on Saturday. That early morning high of 57, it won't last long. We're probably at best at about 40 for the Eagles kick.